Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Sling Pilot Academy inducts its first class. EAA Air Venture will honor the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission. And the FAA issues a policy for ADSB compliance. Happy Friday and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. The Sling Pilot Academy, based in Torrance, California, has started teaching its first group of future commercial pilots. Equipped with all new next generation training aircrafts, Sling Pilot Academy combines proper expert preparation for tomorrow's airline pilots with cost effective quality training. A student going through the entire program finishes with the right tools to work in today's challenging aviation industry. Each student will lead the academy with a multi engine rating as well as three primary instructor ratings. The complete professional flight training program can be done in under nine months and is available for under $63,000. We'll be right back with Around the Patch after these messages. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. With so much interesting news coming out of the aviation industry, it's time for today's trip around the patch. The Aviation Awards Program and the FAA have named the recipients of the 2019 National General Aviation Awards. Gary Dale Reeves of Decatur, Texas is the 2019 Certificated Flight Instructor of the Year. John David Monette of Gardenville, Nevada is the 2019 Aviation Technician of the Year. And Karen Ann Kalishik of De Pere, Wisconsin is the 2019 FAA Safety Team Representative of the Year. L3 Commercial Aviation placed an order for up to 240 new Piper aircraft options in order to expand and modernize its aircraft training fleet. This is the largest civilian fleet order received in company history. The World Trade Organization appellate body published a report which states the U.S. failed to withdraw subsidies granted by federal, state, and local authorities to Boeing. The report also states the U.S. failed to remove the harm those subsidies caused to Airbus. And a university located in Tamil Nadu, India, has set a record for hovering an unmanned aerial vehicle for 6 hours, 7 minutes, and 45 seconds. This record has been confirmed by the FAI. And that was today's trip around the patch. Coming up after the break, the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11th mission will be honored at this year's EAA Air Venture. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B models. The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. 
Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Astronaut Charlie Precourt will be hosting a program to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission at this year's EAA AirVenture in Oshkosh. Precourt will be joined by Apollo 11 module pilot Michael Collins, as well as Apollo astronaut Joe Engel. And finally, the FAA has placed a notice in the Federal Register regarding its policy for issuing ATC authorizations to persons seeking to operate aircraft that are not equipped with ADS-B out equipment in ADS-B airspace after January 1, 2020. The ADS-B out rule issued in 2010 requires aircraft flying in certain controlled airspace to be equipped with ADS-B avionics after January 1, 2020. The agency recognizes operators who do not routinely operate in specified airspace might need to do so on rare occasions. ATC authorizations to deviate from the equipment requirements were established in the regulation to address these instances. The FAA noted in the final rule authorizations would be considered on a case-by-case -case basis and may not be granted in all instances. The FAA anticipates operators who routinely fly in airspace covered by the ADS-B rule are taking necessary steps to ensure there is no disruption to their operations. Well, that wraps up our show for today. As always, don't forget to subscribe, tweet, and like us. And if you would like real-time 24-7 coverage on the latest aviation aerospace stories, check out aero-news.net. Have a fun and safe weekend. I'll see you on Monday.